welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a few things that I covered in my War of the Worlds Q&A stream with Raph a couple of weeks ago, as well as a couple of things to expect in the near future, and some interesting suggestions that I had for the game that I want to get your opinions on. So first off, I just wanted to let you all know that I will be busy at EGX from tomorrow until Sunday, so there probably won't be another video until about Monday or Tuesday. I also recommend that if you want to keep up with what I'm doing whilst I'm at EGX, then you should follow my Instagram, which is uberkit1. There will be a link in the description for that. You'll be able to see sort of what I'm doing. I'll be posting on my story, so we'll get an update on the bits and pieces that I'm doing whilst I'm there. Anyway, let's crack on with the War of the Worlds content that I know you're here for. I wanted to give you a kind of update on what the stage of development is at. So as you may have seen from my Q&A stream with he's working with another Unity developer on the Tripod IK and the Alien IK, which is to do with the movement and the legs, which you've seen, you know, gameplay more of recently, I'm guessing. You may have noticed that the pods now move a lot smoother than they did before and a lot more fluidly over to the terrain. That is down to the IK that they've been working on. Now, until very recently, as you may have seen in the stream, he's been working on getting the feet to not clip through the ground so much, which I believe has now been done. Again, looking at my stream, we know that once he completed that, he was going to move on to working on the Alien's IK. IK, which hopefully shouldn't take as long as they've kind of got the tripod IK down and they can usually just they can carry on and just work on that fluidly as they've worked out a lot of the issues. So hopefully they'll be able to work on that relatively soon. Now we haven't heard a lot about this recently and this is the reason why is this is as far as I'm aware and I am pretty well informed these days. I'm pretty certain this is due to just optimization. The IK has to be optimized before he adds new features in and this is a pretty fair thing to do is you want to fix stuff before you add more stuff into the game. But I am pretty sure that the IK is more or less optimized now so naturally that leads me to believe that he's going to be moving on to the alien IK relatively soon. Either that or he'll be working on the character customization that he talked about a little while ago. Hopefully in the next month or so we should get a showcase of character customization and I'm, I'm not sure how detailed the character customization will be but I'm pretty sure it will just be clothing for now. As far as I'm concerned I don't think it really needs to be much more detailed than that. I mean maybe choosing a hairstyle and the color of your hair might be good but really the priority is just being able to pick out which one you know in a big crowd of NPCs or players which one your mate because then at least you can identify each other a bit easier and I think that's all that we really need for this game. I will try and see if I can get some more information on that so stick around for that. Now moving on I asked Raph recently um, what the state is of the dynamic destruction as we know this is something that's quite important that he wants to add and I just wanted to kind of get an idea of when he'll be working on it and basically what he said was that it's going to be as soon as he's got like the game running is smooth and he's happy with it he's going to start on it hopefully so um, hopefully in the near future he'll be working on that and in, um, it is a really important feature to add because it will kind of determine how the tripods will behave because you know right now they can't really interact a lot with the buildings you know so once the buildings can be destroyed a lot more easy you'll see a lot more it will affect how the tripods behave and also it will affect how players behave because you know it will determine where you go to hide for example as buildings won't be that safe now again this is something that I'm not really that bothered by obviously the fact that he said he's not started working on it yet but hopefully soon this is again just down to the fact that he wants to optimize the game before he adds new features in because as we can all expect with development, you put something in, it's not always going to work right straight away. And so it is, it is important to get the already existing features working smoothly, then add bits at a time and fix that. The, basically, the way the development of this game works, from what I can tell, and I have spoken to Raph about this, and it's basically add new features, optimize, add new features, optimize again. And right now, I think we're just coming out of that optimizing stage because we should be expecting new features very soon. From where I'm sitting, it seems like the main features that we can expect very soon is the Alien IK, hopefully, the character customization, or the dynamic destruction, or maybe bits of everything, we'll see. But that's sort of like the main three things that I think, out of those three, I think that's the most likely what we're going to see very soon. And to be quite honest, all of those things sound pretty good to me. Now, moving on to a feature that I suggested to Raph recently, some of you may know that Raph has temporarily disabled players being able to use tanks because civilians being able to use tanks isn't very realistic and there's no real sort of law friendly way of enabling that to happen but the suggestion that I gave to Raph was potentially having like uh, abilities or attributes for your character so for example one ability could be like soldier or veteran perhaps where they have knowledge on how to control military vehicles this would then explain how a random person could just get into a tank and use it but then you're only making it so certain people could and obviously if you're going to have an attribute like that then you should have perhaps other attributes 
attributes as well. Now another attribute or perk that I thought of was perhaps a thief character where if you chose that at the start your character would move quieter so he won't make as much noise and attract attention from aliens and can also loot quieter as the plan is to have so when you're looting items I'm sure you've seen gameplay by now it counts down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 when it obviously that process makes noise and if you have a thief character perhaps he can make less noise so he's less likely to attract attention. Another one that I thought of was called the Strongman and he will have have some extra carrying capacity so his inventory space could be larger so he can just carry more items straight away. We know that there is a backpack in the game that will extend your inventory space but just having a character that by default has a bit more inventory space will be quite interesting. I did also suggest another one called Athlete which is one that will be able to move faster for example like they will be able to sprint slightly faster and for longer but the drawback to that is that they would have less inventory space. Now the reason why is if you look at like an Athlete runner they are very skinny so I don't think they be able to carry that much and I think that's a good way of kind of like having pros and cons to different attributes I haven't really thought of all of them these are just like very quick ideas now there was one that I thought of that would be good for like a, a potential challenge if you wanted to challenge yourself some more so the one that I thought of for now don't take offense to this is called the gamer now the reason why is because your character would be slightly larger than other characters and uh, would perhaps move slower and have less stamina and basically all of their stats would drain faster like their hunger and thirst so I think it'd just be a funny way of kind of like challenging challenging yourself a little bit more because this game is going to be hard anyway like it does not matter what character you pick this game is going to be brutally hard now I can't take full credit for this idea as it was the idea of my cousin and also moderator Liam some of you might know who he is on my discord server he was the one who actually came up with this idea and I did pitch it to Raf and he seems to like it so there's a very good chance that this could be in the game now there was a lot of very specific details that you guys mentioned in the Q&A which were really good questions but unfortunately I don't really have the time to go over all of them right now but these are some of like the most important ones I wanted to cover I don't have much time to go over the very specifics but there's a lot of things that Raf wants to implement that you guys have mentioned and yeah they sound really cool so bear with me on that one. To summarise sort of where things are at right now, Raf basically wants to get the world and the core mechanics of the game to a standard that he's happy with and then he can move on to the more specific details like for example of a specific detail would be when the tripods start to get sick, they'll stumble around, their headlights will flicker, they won't be able to use their heat rays quite as quickly, the charge up time will take longer, that sort of stuff like all the really like interesting details he will get onto eventually. So for now I think he's just waiting for the core features to be fully implemented and then we'll start to see a flurry of more specific details which will really start to see the game come together at that point but yeah once the world is kind of built and optimized and Raf's happy with it then we'll start to see more of those cool details which personally I cannot wait but that is everything for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give me a like as it really helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't already you should subscribe because there's about 50% of you people that watch these videos that haven't subscribed yet so I'm wondering what the hell you're doing maybe you should click the subscribe button and tick the bell that way you never miss a new video when I post it all of my social links are in the description including my Instagram and Discord if you want to join my Discord server and come and have a chat with me and the rest of the community that would be really cool so hopefully I'll see you there big thank you to my YouTube members for continuing to support the channel I really do appreciate it thank you very much thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video